Good day to you. This is video 9 of the Mudrunner Editor tutorial. We're going to go over mud and scenery tricks. I've been trying to edit my mic settings. I noticed in a lot of the other videos you can hear me breathing and that's a little annoying so I tried to edit my mic settings to improve my sound. Please bear with me. I'll get it eventually if I don't finally have it. Anyway, um, adding mud. There are two ways to do it. The best way for me, I found, is to use this mud under geometry. It allows you to paint it in. The value controls the depth of the mud. So I put it at around 60. I like 64, that's my sports number and all the sports I played. For the away team, it was 46 for home. So that's why I use those numbers. You can uh, play around with it yourself and figure out what numbers work for you. But basically, what you do is you just paint it on. And if you see those little white dots, that is, uh, those are depth in indicators. The more the deeper it is, the longer they'll be, and the sh more shallow it is, the uh, less it'll be. So anyway, that's how to add mud. Play around with that yourself and see how it goes. Um, the other trick I wanted to go over is how I added different textures than the grass and the dirt. What I did was I added materials, added a different material, and I made this material dirt because I want dirt to be zero, and I made the rock slope um, the dirt material because I want that to be one. What you see here, the purple is opacity. If you select this, you need to do this for any other material than your first material. Um, you first need to click on the squares you want to paint on. Closer to zero, deletes them. More towards zero, paints them. Not sure if one makes it any darker or lighter. It doesn't seem to from what I did. And I'm going to turn the auto fade on. Then once you have the blocks colored you want to paint into, you switch to your dirt. And I want the rock slope there. So. I'm going to put that towards the one a little bit and then paint my rock slope on. I'm going to go outside of the opacity marker just to show you what it does. And I turn the auto fade on because that's going to, it seems to create a auto fade effect to where the other texture and the grass meet. So. There we go, painted that on there. Going to rebuild terrain. And save the file. I didn't paint there too well, so. But that's still, that might look pretty cool in the game. And you can see it kind of auto faded there. So that's how to do that. The next video I'm going to go over what references are and how to do them. So they're pretty cool so you want to check that out. Hope to see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.